Yoski, let's talk about micro projects now. What are micro projects? These are the ones that, uh, well, it's like 7 p.m. right now. So these are exactly the ones where you're like, hmm, I have an idea. Uh, the day is uh, still not over. It's like uh, <laughs> five hours of it left. Let's execute it right here, right now. And uh, I've done, I think at least the three, and I have two of those here already and I've actually never put them into my project spreadsheet because come on if it just takes like a couple of hours from idea to execution that's obviously too obvious to document but I think I've changed my mind and um, this is why this video is also a question what do you think about this stuff so the first example is this thing it's extremely simple and unfortunately the stuff that this is actually extremely useful for it's doing its job right now, so I will leave it for later. Let's look at the second specimen, which is this thing. Now, what the hell is that? Well, it's mostly plastic. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is a bottle for uh, those fizzy tablets, you know, like uh, dietary supplements, uh, calcium, vitamin, vitamin C, or what have you. This one, I remember. Uh, very clearly it's cut here by me uh, that was a bottle for a washing machine cleaning fluid yes they sell stuff like that and you should use it probably at least once a year and the last third one also cut by me because you can see the quality of craftsmanship it's not <laughs> exemplary but hey it works and uh, i have no idea what this was but i can see 75 milliliters here so probably a bottle of forever whatever and uh, yeah it's hot glued together it stands nicely on its own now what's the purpose of this the purpose of this is a very small very portable soldering kit so you see this tall one my soldering iron goes uh, USB-C port in, so it doesn't get too dusty. Now, with those compartments, we need a USB-C to USB-C cable, because this needs a lot of power. Now, we have the cable. Well, we also have a collection of soldering tips, because you never know what you're going to need, so it can also stuff it here. And if you're soldering, some flux would be nice. It, you know, you can never go wrong with flux. So, let's uh, stuff it in here. And you see, you can take it with one hand and move it around. It's nice. Now, what are we missing? Solder. Obviously, no soldering without solder. And I have this really neat uh, packaged ones. This is probably the most expensive way to get your solder but you pay for the convenience and the convenience of those small tubes is extremely high so from my perspective if you have the money go nuts and it says professional it's actually made in Poland it's good stuff it has flux inside so this is for like uh, different applications I have uh, three of those they are like one millimeter in diameter so general purpose solder i also have two other ones this one is uh, mobile phone welding dedicated i kid you not straight from china yeah it's like 0.3 millimeters extra thin so nice for like trying to repair the reflow smd stuff which uh, i would prefer not to ever do but i've done it a couple of times and managed to do it and this one is like a just solder. I think I've got it with uh, one of the Dremel tools or whatever. In any case, those things live here. And uh, make micro project. I mean, what can I tell you? I just grab it and it's uh, steady enough to grab by whatever part and it just works. Which is why I'm making the video. Alright, now let's get back to this. Uh, it's actually just two pieces. This is a cup from a screen screen cleaning fluid spray thing and this is a drinking straw from ikea i believe like you can buy like a whole pack for very cheap and hot glue hot glue is actually very useful so the utility of this is uh, 
This is actually a funnel for, and that's kind of an abstract thing, you know, it's sold as an auto watering system for lazy people and their plants, and it's shaped like a bird with a, a straw that you just stick in. It's just it's difficult to pour water through the straw, so this actually fits perfectly inside of it. And this again, it's like, a, I don't know, probably not even like 20 minutes of actual work with most of the work being in drilling and approximately 8 millimeter hole inside for the straw, for the straw, excuse me. And yeah, I will probably drop in a picture of the watering bed stuff because it's actually kind of fun and my dad really likes it. So this is what I've made it. And yeah, I mean, those extra small projects, uh, you know, things you can knock out in the, at most a couple of hours after you've already done your workday. I think this is really fun stuff and just, you know, like having more ideas and uh, also the approach to execution. Because, you know, you do not really measure much when doing this stuff. I mean, with this, nothing has been measured. It was just like, you know, you eyeball it, you get your stuff that you probably want to have it. Because, you know, again, like this in the beginning didn't have some of this stuff, so it's pretty fun. So, yeah. Uh, did I have a question? I'm not sure at this point. Ah, okay. I think the question was, would you count this as projects? I've started, but I haven't for a long time, like a couple of years. The one more that I have is uh, not really easy to film because it's built into a door. So, so, yeah, I hope this was inspirational. I mean, really small stuff. Also, like, knock it out, put it on the internet, you know, let the inspiration flow, as I say. And yeah, happy turkey slaughtering day, all of you Americans. And for the rest of us, well, the festive season is closing in. So, stay healthy, I guess. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hmm.